What is up? My name is Nicole and this is Homemade by Bob Addicted TV. Let's do it. On this week's episode, we're tackling the ultimate homemade boba challenge, making actual tapioca pearls, aka boba. The recipe we're using today is from YouTuber Emmy Made in Japan, who used cooking trees recipe, both of which are going to be linked below. Since boba is so much effort and we didn't want to spend a long time for such a small amount, we decided we'd take an even longer time to make an even larger amount by quadrupling the recipe. Okay, looking back at it now, regrets and mistakes were made, but that's behind us, so let's just get to the recipe. By the way, the description is going to have measurements for the regular and the quadrupled version, so let's get started. The recipe calls for just three things. This includes tapioca starch slash flour, water, and brown sugar. We're using muscovado sugar per the recipe, and it has a strong molasses component and it's bittersweet. Personally, I think regular old brown sugar would have tasted better, so if you don't have muscovado, do not sweat it. It's not a big deal. First thing we're going to do is get our mise en place ready, which basically means prep our ingredients beforehand. Watch this Food Network once. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to need 240 grams of water, 180 grams of sugar, and 360 grams of tapioca starch. Clearly, we're using a scale for this, but if you don't have one, just Google convert from grams to either ounces or cups. In a pot, add in your water and sugar and heat it up until the sugar is dissolved. Once it's dissolved, turn off the heat and add in four spoonfuls of your tapioca starch. Mix everything up and once it's combined, turn the heat back on and heat the mixture until it starts to thicken. Once it gets thick with the two C's and okay, remove it from the heat and add in the rest of your tapioca starch. I know, it looks like way too much, but just mix it up. I promise it'll all combine eventually. I had my doubts too, but it ended up working. Next up, you're going to sprinkle a surface or cutting board with some more tapioca flour and then start to knead your dough. The reason you need to knead dad joke, your dough is to make it smooth and elastic, which is going to help us in the next steps. Since we have so much dough, we're going to work with a quarter at a time. So we cut it in four and wrapped our other three pieces in saran wrap so they wouldn't dry out. We're going to take our first piece of dough, roll it into a log shape, and then cut it into several smaller pieces. And with each smaller piece, we're rolling them out pretty thin into little snakes. Once you have your snakes, cut little pieces and roll those pieces into what's going to be your boba. Remember, the smaller the better because these are going to expand when we boil them. We rolled a lot of big bobas in the beginning, but we had a lot of dough to perfect the method. So if you're not making a ridiculous amount like we did, just make sure to make your pieces very small. Even if they're too small, the worst thing that's going to happen is you have mini boba. But if the boba is too big, it's not going to fit in the straw. And then we have a first world problem that we really don't want to have right now. While rolling out your bobas, boil some water and once at a boil, pour in your balls. Stir these right away to prevent sticking to each other or to the bottom of your pot. After a few minutes, some coronut shaped looking bobas started floating to the top. I don't know how or why this happened still, but they still fit through the straw, so it wasn't a complete failure. Anyways, you're going to set your timer for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally, and then after 20 minutes, remove your pot from the heat, put a lid on it, and let it sit for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, strain the boba and rinse with hot water. Some recipes say cold water. Do not do this. It's going to make your boba hard, okay? Make sure to stir the boba goo off, and once it's all clean, we can work on the sugar mixture. This is going to make our boba sweet. In a pan on medium heat, add in 140 grams of muscovado sugar or regular sugar. We want this to heat up, not to melt, and then once it's getting warm, add in your boba. I think we made the mistake of adding the boba to the pan while the heat was still on, causing our boba to almost burn. So make sure to turn your heat off before adding the boba in. Keep in mind that the longer the boba sits in your syrup, the more flavorful they are going to be. We recommend waiting maybe 20 minutes for it to soak up all the flavor, but if you don't have the patience, just it's fine. Okay. So for the taste, let me start by saying that my friend absolutely loved, loved, loved this boba. While my mom was the complete opposite and said it was the worst thing she's ever had, which is a little dramatic if you ask me. Personally speaking, I didn't think the texture was bad. My only complaint was the syrup that it was in. For some reason, the muscovado sugar to me tastes like raisins. I don't know why. So then the boba just tasted like hot raisins to me. I, I don't I don't even know. Okay, moving on. Would I make it again? Definitely not a quadrupled batch, but I'd probably try a regular portion worth with normal sugar or even honey. If you guys end up making it, let me know how it turned out. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on what we'll make next. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Pretty damn good. Have you had worse? Definitely have had worse. <laughs> much worse. From where? Name drop. <laughs> um.
Bon, Annie bon, Donut Shop. <rire>